Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry, guys, I'm just drinking some water. Okay, how many are we? We are seven now. Where are the others? How are you, Angela? Teacher. Uh, how are you, teacher? <laughs> I'm doing great. What about you? Uh, um, awesome. <laughs> I'm awesome. 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 Uh, I'm awesome. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. How was your day? Um, well, um, Good evening. my day, uh, I had a great I had, day. I had, I had a lot of I had a lot of work. I had a lot of work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's okay. It. What's up, Darwin? How are you? Hello, teacher. How was your day? Uh, I had a great day. Excellent. Hey, so, um, you sent me your routine, right? And I didn't correct it. I will, I will correct. I'm going to correct your routine after the class, okay? Edwin, Darwin. Uh, last the class. I read uh, a book, for example. You read a book? Um, you uh, read a book? Yes. Yes. And um, I watched the, the series. What series? For example, now see the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. I heard, I heard about it on Netflix. Uh, no, and uh, Disney. On Disney Plus. On Disney Plus. Oh, really? Okay. Is it good? It's good. It's it's good. The chronology of the Star Wars. Oh, really? Ah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. I heard about it. Yeah, they said it's good. That's great. Okay. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Hello, Flor de Maria. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your job today? Uh, very, very... Stre <laughs> stressful? Stressful? Uh, no, no? Yesterday, yesterday, yes. Yesterday was yesterday stressful. Was. Okay. Oh, uh, today relax. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Hi, Rafa, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing great. How's the baby? He's playing right now. Oh, good. Okay. Playing with car. With cars. cars. Okay. Cars. <laughs> great. Okay. Let me go with the attendance and then we will start the class in full. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. 
Present teacher. Great. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Ay, Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher. Azalia Melanie por, Guardado Portillo. Present. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present teacher. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. It's not here yet. Okay. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Menjiva Rivera. Never came back. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Yeah. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Ofelia. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Hey. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here, teacher. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández. Present, teacher. Okay, Osmen. Okay, Ofelia. <laughs> Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Margarita Stephanie Menjibar Contreras. Present. Thank you. Edwin, welcome. Hi, teacher. Good, good. good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, solo Giovanni nos falta y Fidel que no se nos ha unido ahorita. Okay, good guys. So today let's start. Stephanie is coming out of work. Okay. Let's start this class. Um, today we're going to start with uh, some practice. Okay. You need to change some um, sentences into the past. Okay, so let's make them affirmations in past. On your notebook, on your notebook, you need to move these sentences to the past. Okay, again, get your notebook. and start translating. Prohibido usar el traductor de Google. Ok, salvo que no entendas un verbo, puedes apoyarte en tu listado de verbos o el traductor de Google como último recurso, ok? Tiche, esa oración la vamos a traducir al, al... pasado. pasado. Uh -huh. okay. En afirmación. Too long, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, there you go. We have two, four, six sentences. Come on, you can do it.
One more minute. Teacher under pressure. <laughs> under pressure. Under <laughs> Okay. Twenty seconds. Okay, time's up. Okay, if your camera is off, you're gonna go first, okay? So let me go all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna start with Jan Silly's bed. Hello, Jancy. Okay, no Jancy. Okay, let me go with Ophelia. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. No Ophelia, okay. Let me go with Stephanie Mejiva. Hey, teacher. Can you translate to past? I'm sorry, can you uh, convert this? Sentence into the past. I always start mm. my shift. Sorry, did you say start? Start from ed. Uh, started. Started okay. my shift with a cup of coffee. 
Easy, right? Yes, there you go. La pronunciación solamente. Started, started. Very good. I always started, started my shift with a cup of coffee. Can you read it again, Stephanie? I always started. I always started my shift with a cup of coffee. Okay, don't forget uh, this. You don't make a stop. Don't make a stop there. Okay. I always started. I always started my shift with a cup of coffee. Repeat. I always started my shift with a cup of coffee. Good. Very good. Okay, let's see who else. Let me see who else. Okay, next on the line, I have Sulma. Would you like to try, Sulma? Yes. Thank um, you. She reached her dream of becoming a chief executive. Easy, right? Very good. Well, really reached, reached her dream of becoming a chief executive. Reached. Okay, she reached her dream of becoming a chief executive. Glorita? The boss goes hunting every weekend. The boss went hot every, every weekend. Good. The boss went hunting every weekend every weekend very good easy very easy um osmin can you try my job is stressful every day uh, my job is was stressful every day okay one more time my job my job is was stressful okay. every day my job was my job was, yes. Yeah. Stressful every, every day. day. My job was stressful every day. And again, we don't make a pause here. We just go straight. Okay. My job was stressful every day. My job was stressful every day. My job was stressful. Okay. Next, Adriana. I get, I got to get underweight. Before I turn 40. I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get on their way before I turn 40. Uh huh. I gotta get, I get it to get. On their weight before I turn 40, 40, 40. Yes, I gotta wait. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get gotta on their get. weight before I, uh -huh, I turn 40. Now, if I'm speaking, if I'm speaking in past, this will be in past too. Gotta, I gotta get on their weight before I turn 40. On the past, I got to get underweight before I turn 40. Do you understand, guys, what, what it says here? What does it say here? Yeah, okay. Rafa, our company's landlord wants to increase the rent. Let's see if I can move it up. Yeah. Sorry, teacher. Um, our company landlord wants to increase the rent. Wait, want? Want, want, the. <laughs> want it, want it, want it, want it. Okay, see, that simple it is. Just identify the verbs and move them to the past. Our company's landlord wanted to now you can say wanted to, wanted to increase the rent. My company's landlord wanted to increase the rent, wanted to increase, wanted to increase, wanted to increase. Or you can say wanted to increase the rent, okay? Rafa, wanted to increase the rent. 
Wanero Chris rent. Wanero. Wanero. Increase the rent. Very good. Okay, I'm sending you this to your WhatsApp right away. So you can check it and keep it there. Okay. It's on your WhatsApp. Questions, questions. Doubt. What is landlord? Ah, what is landlord? The person that rents to the land. For example, if you're renting an apartment, the owner of the building, the owner of the whole building, that's your landlord. Yeah. Propietario. Yeah. Yeah, well, basically, yes. To understand more that topic, look for a movie on Netflix about McDonald's. Uh, yes, I'm uh, beautiful Spanish. Like Senor Barriga. <laughs> oh how, do you, how do you say that? Pegar con el cincho en salvadoreño? Give a pair of cinchazos. Ah, come on, in salvadoreño. Cinchazos. Cinchasear. Cinchasear. Okay. okay, yeah, Edwin. Oh my God, Edwin. Edwin, where, where are you, Edwin, by the way? I am the McDonald's oh, because, oh, he's the <laughs> because the highway to Lourdes is it's full. Fluted. It's fluted. Yes. Fluted. Ready? Yes. Yeah. It's fluted. So I rather, I rather. Hey, good. I rather stay here. Stay here. Excellent, Edwin. Good. Hey, but look, it wasn't my intention. Maybe my brain, maybe I saw the M with my <laughs> sight. I don't know. Okay, guys, let's continue. So today, let me just check something really quick. It's 8.20. Ah, huh. Hmm. Teacher in English is the founder. The founder, yes. Yes, the founder. That's right. <laughs> Is that 31? Okay. Um, yeah, we saw this yesterday. Okay. Past of B. Okay. That's where we were before. Now, ask customers questions to inform what they got. If they got to what they promised. Wait, give me one second. Let me check this lesson plan because I'm sure. Something. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's practice some more reading. This is page 33. I like to go through the topic. Let's see, ask customers questions to confirm that they got what was promised, promised. What questions do you generally ask to a customer to confirm information you know? What questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? Hmm. Information that you already know. Is your address such and such? Okay. Let's look at the reading. Let's read um, Ms. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experiences with two different companies. So I need two volunteers, one to read Ms. Mendoza and one to read Mr. Torres. Me, teacher. Me, 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 te me teacher, Mr. Mendoza. Wait, okay, but who is me? I'm sorry. Gloria? No, who's it? Me, Adriana. Adriana, thank you. Uh huh. And? Miss Sandra. Sandra and Miss Sandra. Sandra. Okay. Miss Sandra and me, Adriana. Okay, Miss Adriana. Sandra. Yes, I can hear you, Sandra. Okay, go ahead, uh, Adriana, with Mr. Mendoza. Mrs. Mendoza, Mendoza. sorry. Okay. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician 
the museum come to help me with, with it. He solved it, but uh, but but he did he didn't say a, a nothing. He even charged my four advice he broke. He gave me a copy of, of the report, but I didn't understand understand. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> good. Oh, okay. so I am a teacher. <laughs> no, don't worry. You actually did very good. <laughs> you did very good. Okay, repeat. Payroll. Payroll. Very good. Payroll. Payroll. Te technician. 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 Came. Came. With it. With it. Again, with it. With it. With it. Mm -hmm. I didn't mark it, but you have to say solved. With it. Solved. 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 Good. Solved. Anything. Anything. Mm -hmm. Charged. 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 Chart. Good, better. Charged. Chart. Peace. Peace. Okay. Report. Report. Mm -hmm. In the report. In okay. The report. Forgot. Forgot. There you go. Forgot. Forgot. There you go. Okay. Very good. Uh, let me read it one more time for you guys, and then I will ask someone else to read it. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a, but a technician came to help me with it. But a technician came to help me with it. He solved it. He solved it. So he solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. It, it, it. Besides all that, besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. I forgot to mention that he came very late. Good. Okay. Let's go with Sandra, Mr. Torres. Okay. I have a problem with the cars and genie. So I call it for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to fix my car's problem. Two, he gave me detail, details about the incident and he gave me report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Close, very good. Look, you did good, Sandra. Now let's emphasize, okay. vamos a enfatizar mucho la pronunciación en esas dos lecturas, ¿ok? Uh, porque se puede dar a malinterpretarse en el inglés, eh, decir have, es diferente a decir had, had. Y quiero que entiendan, a ver, cada vez que veamos el have en pasado va a ser como decir cabeza, had. I had a problem. Y lo uno, eh, mira, aquí es un claro ejemplo de cuando la D se puede convertir en R, R, en D, R, 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 I had a, I had a, I had a I had problem. A, I had a problem. I had a problem with the cards engine, 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 engine. There you go. I had a problem with the cards engine, engine, engine. Indian. There you go. Indian. So I called, I called, así como de frío, lo mismo. I so called. I, I called. 
I called for assistance. Mm -hmm. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. Really, 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 really kind. Y de nuevo, ese es un ejemplo cuando la R se vuelve muy fuerte y siempre lo va a hacer. La R es como una de las um, consonantes más fuertes al pronunciar en el sentido de que te forza y debe de forzarte a usar todos los músculos de la boca. Acordate, hace una U, U enrollas la lengua hacia atrás y decís really, really. The mechanic was really kind, really kind. Ok. He was there fast and he was quick to fix my car's, very good, my car's problem, Cars. problem, 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 ahí estamos, muy bien, problem, two, my car's problem, two, okay, he gave me details, 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 details. Mm -hmm. details. about, about the incident, about the incident and he gave me a report of it a report of it he gave me a report okay. of it of it a, a report of it fíjense que ayer me a conecté era parte de las 22500 personas que estaban escuchando a, a una conferencia de inversionistas del bitcoin en en twitter y, y noté muchísimo que el presidente comete este error. Eh, no le han enseñado eh, o no, no, lo, no lo ha adaptado. Él es que habla muy rápido. El problema con el acento del presidente es que habla muy rápido. Y dice, eh, por ejemplo, le hubiese dicho, he gave me a report of it. Of it. O sea, sopla, él sopla. Of it. A report of it. Y, yo, y eso se ve bien mal en inglés. Ok, se nota pues, o sea, denota de acento, denota acento y la misión de quien aprende inglés es borrar el acento, ¿no? Que noten que sos latino, por ejemplo, no sé, al hablar inglés. Entonces. Eh, sería teacher over. Ahí. Con B la dental. Over. Ah, cabal. A report of it. A report of, report of it. Sandra. Ajá. A report of it. Very good. I report of it. Then I started the engine. I, y me gustó que dijo the engine. Very good. I started the engine and everything was perfect. I started the engine. Recuerden que la, el artículo the se pronuncia como the cuando viene una vocal antes, después de the. Okay, the engine. And everything was perfect. So one more time. I had a problem with the cards. Ya me equivoqué. Notaron? Problem. Problem, problem. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he, he was quick to fix my car's problem, too. He gave me details about the incident, <clears throat> and he gave me a report of it, and he gave me a report of it. Then. I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, now let's go in couples. This time I will try, how many are we? We are 22, perfect. So I'll split you in couples for five minutes. Puede vivir en grupos por cinco minutos nada más, en parejas, perdón. Y cada uno va a leer una oración primero, el otro lee la otra, luego el otro intercambia y así van a estar jugando, solo son cinco minutos. Try to do it. Traten de hacer lo mejor que puedan, ¿ok? Y si tu compañero se equivocó en algo, decirle, hey, creo que ahí era had, had. Bien, como vamos a hacer esto, es importante que nadie, eh, es importante que nadie se quede acá en el salón principal. Por favor, únense y piensen en sus compañeros ahorita. No quiero que alguien esté solo, ahí en pareja, ¿verdad? Hablando solo. Por favor, ¿ok? ¿Saben qué? Sí, es que tienen, tienen que colaborar, chicos. Vamos, vamos a hacer parejas. You can do it. Mm. Ok. 
good. Ahí lo voy a ir ajustando. Let's go. Quedaron un par de tríos. Ok, let's go. Para quién inicia? This is group number one. We are lucky. We're lo lucky. Yeah, you're lucky. 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 Come okay. on, Thor. <laughs> Handsome, lucky. Mm. Okay. okay, sister. Let's go, sister. <laughs> okay, I start. Uh, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand, uh, sorry, but I didn't understand Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. ¿Cuál hay que mejorar, teacher? I heard some things you said. Escuché que dijo algo ahí. Let me see. I wasn't taking note. I was just listening to you. Understand. Le el estrés de understand. ¿Dónde va? On. Understand. Um, understand. 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 No, wait. Understand. I didn't understand. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. Um, charged. No escuché el sonido final de charged. Charged. He even charged. He even charged me. Charged. Charged me. Charged. Charged me. I, he even charged me for a piece he broke. Very good. Other than that, it was good. Okay. Mish, mish, mish. Okay. I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car problems too. He gave me a details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I start the engine and everything was perfect. Details. Oui. On... He gave me details, mm, details. Ah, details. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it, a report of it, a report of it. I get, okay, okay. Ophelia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Let's go ahead and practice with, well, any of the two. Vamos a leer cualquiera de los dos diálogos, okay? De los dos uh, reportes. Let's go. Okay. No sé si me pueden compartir pantalla. Girls. Okay. Listen. Okay. I has a problem. I wish a pro a problem. I system. I bus at ten chicken. I can't to help. Me with it, his server is back. I did this, this no. I said anything having shared them the four. I pierced at the broker has harbor me, me copy of the report. I bust this no under 
under starter is visible. I, I that is forward. I to me, me too. That that that's his car carmi very light. Okay, good, Ophelia. Eh, necesito que le ponga mucha atención a estas dos chicas. Porfa, mm -hmm. ellas leen muy bien. So, ahorita van a continuar ellas. Michelle le diría eh, Mrs. Mendoza y luego Madera le diría Mr. Torres. Después otra vez usted lee cualquiera de las dos. Pero pare bien la oreja. Mm -hmm. Vaya leyendo cuando a medida que ellas vayan leyendo también, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, si necesita que le repitan, dígale a Michelle o a Mayra, por favor, me pueden repetir esa palabra, ok? Ok. Good, let's continue. The details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Ok, repeat details. Details. Sí, las tres están en la primera details. sílaba. Details. Details. About, about the incident, he gave me a report of it. Very good. A report. Report of it. I started. Si se puede decir, I started. Suena más británico. I started the engine. The engine. I started the engine. I started. I started. I started. I started the engine. And everything was perfect. Very good. Okay, continue. Okay. I had a problem with the payroll, with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me, charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that it came very late. Okay, repeat, charged. Charged. Very good, he even charged me for a piece he broke. He even charged me for a piece he broke. Gave me a copy of the report. Gave me a copy of the report. Better. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Carlita, you better try. Okay. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called it for assistance. The mechanics was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem. Two. So he gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I start the engine and everything was perfect. Good. Okay. Repeat. Cold. I cold. called for assistance. I called for assistance. Better. Okay. okay. Started. I started the engine. I started the engine. Very good. Okay. okay. Keep going. I will just go to another group and then we will come back to okay, be together. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. I have a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, solved it but he didn't say anything. Solved. He even charged. He even charged me for a. Good. Yeah, the stress is on the first syllable. Details. Details. Uh, Peace. Peace. He even charged me. It says he even charged me for a piece he broke. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He even charged me for a piece he broke. Charged. Okay. Son dos sonidos, eh? Charge. Charged. 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 
charge me. He even for charged me for a piece he broke. He charged, 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 charged. Uh -huh. Charged me for charged. a piece he broke. Okay. Charged for a piece he broke. Broke. Uh -huh. Broke. Broke. Okay. Okay. We continue. Who, who, who reads? Who reads? Okay. Uh, dancing MS. I was. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Mendoza or, or Mr. Torres? No, a usted, a usted le toca a Mr. Torres. Yo okay. Dije, ah, okay, okay, okay. Ojo que es <laughs> Mrs., Mrs. Mendoza y Mr. Mrs. Torres. Okay, okay. I had a problem with, with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The merchant was really kind he was the really fast and he was quick to fix my car problem too he giving me the details about the incident and he he gave me a report of it then I start the engine and everything was perfect. Perfect. Okay, I wanted to hear you. Um, you say mechanic. 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 Gave. 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 Uh, gave. He gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. He gave me. Of it. Gave. He gave me a report. Okay. Very good. Let's go back. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, you you could or inspiration. <laughs> teacher, teacher was lost. I cut your inspiration, really? Yeah, we could all inspiration. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. So I need your help answering the questions underneath the, the customer's review feedback. By the way, that is customer's feedback, feedback. It's the customer's feedback. So let's see, did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with the method of payment? Did she have a, did she had a, wait a minute. Yes. Is this correct? No. Why? He had a problem with the payroll system. Hmm. Okay. So he had a problem with the payroll system. Do you, everybody agree? Do you all agree? Okay. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, that's right. Very good. Now, we will learn that. Listen to Suma. She said no. Okay. He had a problem with the payroll system. Okay. Think about it. No, comma. He had a problem with the payroll system, which is okay. Okay. No. Second no. question. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No. Did Mr. No. Torres call his best friend for help? No. No, he didn't. He didn't. What did he, he didn't. He, he called called for assistance. Called for and the mechanic. Oh, to the mechanic. Help him. Yeah. The mechanic helped him. Very yeah. good. Helped. Helped. Now I Help. want to I want to emphasize. I want to emphasize some things. I don't know how to take this. Oh, there you go. Okay. So well, just listen to this video. Vean el video de nuevo en la parte en la que les leí ambos 
lado, si quieren aprender bien la pronunciación de cada verbo, eso es muy importante, la repetición continua de algo te va a ayudar, ok, so let's go with yes, no questions somebody's in a party, I don't know who is in a party right now ok, so ok vamos a aprender a usar yes or no questions, preguntas a las cuales solo puedo responder sí o no. Y como siempre, en todo tiempo gramatical es lo mismo, es decir, siempre hay preguntas sí o no en todo tiempo gramatical. La diferencia es que en el español, justo como escuchábamos a Zulma, solo decir no. That's it. Así nada más. O decir sí. Y luego te explicas o no y te explicas. Ok. En inglés hay una estructura que en teoría, ¿verdad? Deberíamos de seguir. Digo en teoría porque los americanos en realidad no lo hacen. ¿Ok? Salvo que estén muy molestos. Ocupan gramática correcta, ¿saben? Solo un americano molesto ocupa gramática correcta. Ok. Ironías. So, let's see. La estructura, volvemos de nuevo, es bien sencilla. Voy a ocupar el auxiliar del pasado simple que es... Correcto. Did, did, did. Very did. Good. Luego voy a ocupar un sujeto. Ok. I have a subject. Y ojo con esto. Tengo que ocupar un verbo en su forma base. Edwin, mucha música. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Si quiere decir algo, enciende el micrófono y me dice, ok. Good. Si no me piden una Big Mac, pero con soda y estética, por favor. Ok, so, auxiliar, sujeto, el verbo en su forma base. Y esto era lo que les quería explicar. Miren, hay un pequeño error en el libro. A ver quién me lo identifica en estas dos preguntas. El verbo está en pasado. Had. Ajá. Ups. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment, correcto, aquí es have, no, have, ojo, cuidado, eh. have, had, have, had, tiene que ir en presente simple ese have, ok, so, going back, y todo lo que sigue es mi complemento, ok, so, again, auxiliary, subject, verb in its base form, and then the complement. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? De nuevo. Auxiliary. Subject. Verb. Complement. Ok. Y así siempre en cada vez. Ahora bien, ¿cómo contesto? Si lo voy a hacer de una manera positiva o una afirmativa, voy a decir, ojo con la estructura de esto, ¿eh? yes, coma, I did. Es decir, yes, coma, sujeto, auxiliar de forma positiva. Si voy a contestar de manera afirmativa, no voy a contractuar nada, no hay nada que contractuar. Ok, yes, coma, sujeto, did. Nada más. Ojo con el punto si es necesario también. Yes, I did. Yes, she did. Yes, we did. Yes, they did. Yes, it did. Yes, you did. And so on. So far, so good. Todo bien hasta ahí? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. De manera negativa, voy a ocupar el no. Y ojo no. que ahí hay una coma. Entonces, yo incluso al hablar, voy a hacer una pausa. Ok. Voy a decir no, I didn't. Y aquí sí voy a ocupar la contracción del auxiliar con el negativo. Es muy apropiado, muy adecuado, ante todo al hablar, hacerlo. So, no, coma, sujeto, auxiliar en negativo. Repito, no, coma, sujeto, auxiliar en negativo. No, I didn't. No, she didn't. No, we didn't. No, they didn't. No, you didn't. No, it didn't. Ok. Questions. Questions. 
Question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ask me. Uh, do only you in I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Correct. Voy a ocupar el mismo auxiliar para todos los sujetos. Aquí no hay distinción de sujetos. Siempre es el mismo auxiliar para todos. Excellent question. Very good. Uh -huh. Questions? No more questions? Okay. Okay, let's do this together. So, de nuevo, les voy a dividir en grupos pequeños. Vamos a trabajar juntitos en solventar. ¿Qué es lo que voy a hacer? Create yes or no questions based on the answers provided. So, ya te estás dando la respuesta. Tenés que descifrar cuál es la pregunta. So, yes, I did. I sent the email. I sent the email. I sent the email. Yes, I did. I sent the email. Ojo con esto. Yo puedo explicarme un poco más. Claro que sí. Pero tengo que, por gramática pura, tengo que hacer la estructura base de la respuesta primero. No, they didn't. Ah, claro, no, no lo hicieron. Simplemente no. Ellos no chequearon el paquete. Ok, they didn't check the package. Yes, it did. Sí. Ojo, con esto solo estoy diciendo sí. No. Sí. Ok. Y ahora explico un poco más. Por eso la explicación breve, ¿no? Questions? Ok. Claro, si no hay nada que explicar, no agregas lo demás, ¿no? Um, Roselena, did you take a shower this morning? Yes, I did. I take a shower this morning. I took a shower, took this, a morning. shower this morning. Ojo con <laughs> eso, ¿ah? ¿eh? Si voy a contestar de forma afirmativa, yeah. miren. Verbo en pasado. Passed, passed. Yes, it did. The car turned on again. No, we didn't. We never received a coffee. He bought a new tire. Ok. Solo en afirmativa. En negativa decíamos el auxiliar, el verbo en su forma base. They didn't check the package. Ok. Let's do it. Solo son cinco. Vamos a hacer las preguntas. Ya nos dieron las respuestas. Ok. Really quick. Oh, you know what? Give me one second. It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock on a Wednesday. Hola, Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present, teacher. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Present, teacher. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Giovanni Alexander Mejiva Rivera. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present, teacher. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Meléndez, I'm sorry, Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Thank you. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Present. Excellent. Adrián Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Y Margarita Stephanie Mejibar Contreras. Present. Excelente. Ok. Les recordaba ayer, ¿verdad? Si alguien pues eh, ya lleva varias faltas o se une siempre tarde, ya no lo hagan. Nos quedan solamente cinco, seis, siete días. A partir de mañana y se nos acabó la cora. Ok. So let's do this together. Bigger groups. Ok. Let's go. Okay. Hi, I'm Hello. 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 Hello.
Compartiremos pantallas, ¿verdad? Para verlo. Yes, it's good. Voy a buscarlo. No. ¿Qué número de página es, compañeros? Seriport. Seriport. Cuatro. Está así es. Can be car. Turn the car. The car turn on again. Turn mm -hmm. on again. El primero después del del subject va el el verbo. Yes, el el lugar de it can be no. car. It's the same. Ah, did did the car. Did uh, yes. Did the car? Sorry, did, did the car? Mm -hmm. Did the car turn, turn again? Turn on again, again, again. Yes. Again. 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 Yes. <laughs> Question yes. number four. Okay. Did um, we um, receive 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 a, a copy copy of the receipt? What is the pronunciation, the last word? Receive? Receive. Receipt. 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 The receipt. 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 And the ultima seria, did he? Did he? Buy sería el verbo, ¿verdad? Yes, buy, buy a new tire. 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 A new tire. Uh -huh. Respuesta. En las demás respuestas, el verbo, como no estamos utilizando el auxiliar, el verbo queda en su forma, en, su, en el pasado, perdón. Como I sent, eh, turned, eh, received, y bot. Como no estamos uh -huh. utilizando el auxiliar. La cuatro, ¿cómo quedaría, Mayra? ¿Cuál? La cuatro. La cuatro seri sería: Did you receive a copy of the receipt? El Did verbo. Did you receive? Y receive. never. No, ah, never. No, no tiene nada que ver. Lleva forma base. Ok. El, ajá, es, es, que, es como el complemento de la ajá, respuesta que decía el teacher. Ajá, en este caso es como un complemento. Uh -huh. Ajá, lo que dice Roselena. Ellos están diciendo como eh, no, nosotros uh -huh. nunca recibimos la copia. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso solo es un, un, un complemento. We never. Un complemento. Okay, thank you. 
Pero ya me perdí porque div es el auxiliar. Correcto. Ah, y div div es el auxiliar pero negativo. Negative. Correcto. Es como decir do y cuando decíamos ajá, doesn't. Y, ajá, do y doesn't. Uh -huh. ajá. Exacto. Uh -huh. ¿Con cuál tiene duda, Ofelia? ¿Tiene alguna duda? Una pregunta. ¿Va que las, las, las negativas no cambian? ¿Va? ¿O a revera? Eh, en la que, ¿En, el en el caso del pasado, en la del verbo. Ajá, sí. Por ejemplo, en la 2, cuando la respuesta es They didn't check the package. Uh -huh. eh, como estamos utilizando el auxiliar del didn't, el verbo se mantiene en su forma base, que es check. Uh, check, ajá, cuando es negativa, se mantiene. Uh -huh. eh, sí, cuando es positiva pasa eso. El auxiliar. Si se... El auxiliar did. Exacto. Uh -huh. Si se fija, por ejemplo, en la última pregunta, que la pregunta es, did he buy a new tire? Uh -huh. Como la respuesta. Está bien. Compró. Bo. Ajá. Compró. Ajá, compró. He bought a new tire. Tire. Ajá. A new tire. Tire. Uh -huh. Ajá. Es correcto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Uh -huh. eh, decíamos que cuando el auxiliar está presente, ya sea en negativa y en pregunta, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Entonces, son en las afirmaciones, son en las afirmaciones es que el verbo va a estar en pasado. Uh -huh. mm, porque no hay did ahí, no está el auxiliar. Entonces estamos bien. Super good. Ok, ya casi terminamos. Espérame, tío. Uh -huh. este, este never podría ser always something. Dependiendo, sí. ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Y cómo, cómo se pronuncia la última palabra? A copy of the receipt. 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 Y receive es recibo, ¿verdad? Sí. That's right. Teacher. Uh -huh. En la tercera puede ser Did the car turn on again? O se puede reemplazar, ¿verdad? Por did it. Correct. Did it turn on again? Correct. Claro, tendría que estar en contexto que estás hablando del carro. Ok. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, let's go back.
Teacher, ¿puedo ver su dedo? It's better. Now it's white. No. Y, no, no, no se cayó, solo quedó algo abultado en la uña, pero creo que va a volver a salir y se va a poner normal ya. Thanks for caring. Gracias por preocuparse. Porque me daba ansiedad ver, ver ese dedo ahí con él. El... La cosa morada. Uh. Oh. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I think we're back. Let's see if you got it right. So, question number one, everybody. Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Una email. cosa más. En las preguntas, yes, no questions. En esas yes, no questions, les he dicho ya, vale, pensé, creo que donde subo la voz, en la última palabra, la palabra. Sí, antes del question mark. Very good. La última palabra antes del de signo de interrogación. Y este, ajá. Did you send the email? Did you say the email? Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Okay. Number two. Did they check, Did they check the package? Did they check the package? Did they check? Did they send the package? Did they check the package? Did they check the package? Very good. Number three. Did the car turn on again? Did the car turn on again? Again. 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 Did the car turn on again? Very good. Number four. Where? Where is Gloria? I saw you. No, no se le entendió. Alguien estaba leyendo, pero no le entendí. A, a María Estela se le escucha así como. Tengo el mal el sonido. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Very good. Did he re did we receive? Did we receive? Mm. Yes. Ah, miren, dice we never received a copy of. Did you receive? receive? Did we? Did we receive? You. Podría estar hablando de la compañía, ¿no? O sea, el jefe está preguntando yeah. como nosotros y tengo que contestar como nosotros. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ahora, si la pregunta fue si did you, también se puede. Yo did you receive a, a copy of a the receipt? A ver, ¿quién me puede vislumbrar acá? Ese, ese, ese adverbio de frecuencia que está ahí, ese never. Never. ¿Cómo lo ocuparías en la pregunta? Did you ever? Excellent. Good, Edwin. Uh -huh. Did you ever receive a copy of the receipt? ¿Alguna vez recibió la copia del recibo? Yeah. Did you ever receive a copy of the receipt? Okay. And last one. Did he buy, Did he buy a new time? Did he buy a new tire? Did he buy a, Did new, he buy tire? a new tire? Did he buy a new tire? Good. Okay. Edwin. Edwin. Turn on. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, Edwin. Um, ay, pero es que está, está ahí bailando y todo. Espérenme, espérenme. Quiero ver. Let me see. Let me see. Let me think. Let me think. Someone in the middle. Let me think. Oh, my God. Adriana. Yes, teacher. Ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. This is an example of you. Este es un ejemplo de la dinámica que van a llevar a cabo ahorita, ¿ok? 
Let's okay. speak. Vamos a hablar, ok. Nada de estar escribiendo ni qué. Ahí, aunque te trabes y se te trabas, tus compañeros te van a ayudar, ok. Adriana, did you go to school? Yes, I did. Did you like it? Yes. Why? I like Because, because the place big. Because it was a big place, because the place was big. Very good. Okay. Did you fall in love at school? Did you no. fall in love? No. No, I didn't. Okay. So they didn't break your heart. No, okay. because the school only girls. Oh, it was just for girls. The school was just for girls. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Did your sister go to that school with you? Yes, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. Excellent. Okay, very good. Mm, did your father love you? Did your yes. father love you? Yes, of course. Yes, <laughs> yes he did. Yes, yes he, did. he did. Okay. He did. Did he take you to school every day? Yes, I did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, you got it. Okay, yes, he did. Okay, yes, he did. so el punto es, ¿hace cuántas preguntas podás? ¿De qué más podríamos hablar? A mí se me ocurrió la escuela. No sé qué se te ocurre. Hmm. O, ojo, eh, que empecé preguntando de que se había ido a la escuela. <laughs> ok. La password de un trabajo pasado. Oh. Did you work? Ojo, que son preguntas sí o no. Se estamos como adivinando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Did you work as a dentist? Did you work in accounting? Did you work, I don't know, as a salesperson? Did you work in sales before? Oh, did you work in sales before? Si no, ocupamos preguntas generales. Right? Michelle, did you go to Metapan last week? No, I didn't. Okay, did you go to Santa Ana? No, I didn't. Okay. Did you come to San Salvador last week? No, I didn't. Oh my God. No salgo de casa. Do you have a life? No, oh, I no, I don't. Oh, oh, do you? Okay. Hey, did you go to work today? Did you go to work today? Mm, no, I didn't. I work in my home. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Did you like it? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> did you get tired? Yes, I did. Really? From home? Yes. Of course. Okay. Okay. So, you got the point? Ya, ya entendieron de qué se trata. So, conozcanse más. Okay. Traten de ser lo más pegado de la realidad. Si no, pues nos salimos de la realidad. Y, okay. Whatever you can ask. Pero vamos a hacer yes or no questions. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, who is that? Mm, me. Um, get over again. Nelson, did you, uh, did you, did you, 
dinner tonight? Did you have dinner tonight? Yes, I did. Do, did you like it? Yes, I did. Okay. Quiero preguntarle a alguien más y nos vamos rotando. <laughs> <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. Eh, Flor. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok. Vaya. Eh, Glory. Yes. Did you travel to another country? Did you travel yes. to another country? Yes, I did. Um, yeah. I travel um, in Central America. <laughs> okay. What yeah. country, Gloria? Uh, Costa Rica. Uh, Panamá, Guatemala, Honduras. Wow. It's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Adriana, uh, did you like to work? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle, <coughs> did you dance it, dance it yesterday? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> No. Okay. Um, that we. Do you like dancing? Oh, yes, of course. I love to dance. Uh, salsa. Uh, the old but... salsa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Um, Darwin. Did you cook the dinner this day? No. Today. Ah, today. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I am not. Do not cook. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Boy. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um. I have a question. Okay. Um, when did you graduate in university or, or high school? You mean where? When. Or uh, when? When. When yes. did you when did you graduate? When. Okay. When did when. you graduate from high school? Yes, when. The date? Yes, date. Oh, date. I was graduated on 2002 from I the gradu university. I graduated. And I graduated on home. I graduated um, on... On 2000. 2000. In to, I'm sorry, in 2002. In 2000, yeah. In 2002? I, I was graduated in 2002 mm -hmm. at the university. At the high school, I was graduated in 1988. 1988. 1988 or Oh, I guess yes or no. Uh, disculpen que estoy yes. con... Yes, yeah, Rafa. Con Rafa. Yes. question, sorry. Rafa, But, uh, uh, did you... Okay, Rafa, did you... Did you went to the movies on weekend? Did you go? Did you go to the movies on weekend? <laughs> on the weekend? On this, the weekend. this, this, uh, the mon Sunday. On Sunday. <laughs> Oh, Saturday in May. 
in the night. Es que queremos hablar más, teacher. Las yes, la yes no cuestan, no nos gustan. Okay. We need to we need to ask Carla how how is your cat, Carla? Hi, my cat, my little cat is is how, where how is, is the health better, of the of is, your cat? It's better, but she she is with me medicine with medicine medicine yes for 15 days no oh, my god okay. all day is a uh, como se dice lucha teacher it's fight fighting good word it's, it's difficult struggle. every day is a struggle no, a struggle every day, every day is a struggle and we and we every day we uh -huh. struggle for her to take the medicine. Struggle. Yeah. Struggle. 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 Uh, yes, it's very mm. difficult because she is very yes. uh, mm. she is very intelligent because she <laughs> she know the hours when when I <laughs> when need to take a medicine. <laughs> In this moment she got to back to the bell. <gasps> Is spent still. Yes. Okay, but the the good thing, the good thing thing is that she is a she is she. Your yes, cat is a is a woman, is a girl. It's a girl, yes. Is oh, it a female a, or a male? Oh yeah, oh, female. Yes, oh, female. I, I uh, had two cats and okay. No, I didn't. Angela. Hello. Um did you sing in this school? Did you sing at school? Did you sing at school? At school? Mm -hmm. Sing. Did uh -huh. you sing at school? No, I, no, I, uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Did you dance? Uh, <laughs> uh, in. Did you feel a ring? <laughs> Did you dance in the park? Yes. Yes, I did. Did you <laughs> did you dance in the prom? Prom. Did you dance in the prom? Uh -huh. The prom is a promotion. Uh -huh. Cuando uno se gradúa. Uh, esa promotion. Uh -huh. prom. No. No, I no I didn't. I el pasado de dance. El pasado de dance. 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 Danced. 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 Yeah. Danced. 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 The prom party, the prom the party. Prom, at the, the prom, prom party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you did you travel last year? You travel, travel, travel. Travel. Did you travel? Travel. 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 Yes, I did. I I do travel. Travel. In did you? <laughs> Did you go to the cinema this year? I didn't. <laughs> 
Did you visit your parents? Um, I did. I no, no, I didn't. Did your kids go to the school this month? Did you? Did you? Did your kids go to the school this month? No, I did. No, I didn't. And kids, kids, or mayor, ¿cómo sería? Oldest. Oldest. My kid. My oldest, oldest. kid. Uh -huh. my, my kid is oldest. My oldest kid. Ah, my oldest kid. We went to the school. Where are the others? Let's just wait for the others. Did you have a hamburger? No, I didn't. Oh, really? Did you have a just, coffee? Just a Sunday. Just a Sunday? A Sunday? Oh, good. Nice. Yes. Hey, did you get paid in the end? Did you get pay? Just a little. Just a little. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're you're still working. I'm still working. Um, we have Where? we we are we have some problem because my co-worker have COVID. He got yes. COVID. Yes. Oh Three of God. them. Three of them? Yes. yes. Be careful. And, and, yes, yes. Um, last month, another co worker died of COVID. Oh my God. Yeah. You so know, I, I heard I heard that Hospital El Salvador is crowded. Yes. So I, I, I don't want to to let the project because we have problems. Even they didn't pay me yet. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Uh... Okay, guys, uh, I said to Edwin, I heard, I heard, and I said, it's crowded, crowded, okay? Too many people. I love your Spanish. How do you say mucha gente in Salvadorian? Gentillo. <laughs> the similar one is true. Gentillo. <laughs> When it's crowded, that's the meaning of crowded in good Salvadorian. Okay. Lleno. Ajá, pero gentil así. Como dice Rosalena, full. Full. Como la feria, cuando era la feria. Es como consuma en agosto. Consuma, cabal. Sí. Okay. Okay. It's your turn. Make me questions. Just one question each. Come on. Yes, no question. Or... Yes, no questions. Okay. Did you like your work? Did you like your work? 
uh, the previous job I had. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The previous job I had. Yes, I did like it. I did like it. Mm -hmm. Good, Sulma. Did you take bus in the COVID? Oh, did you take the back the COVID vaccine? The COVID, uh, the COVID vaccine. Una forma más sencilla. Did you get Did you get the shot? Did you get the shot? Did you get the COVID shot? No, uh -huh. I didn't, and I don't want to. Oh. I'm immune. I am immune. Did you many growth for English? Did you many growth the English? Mm -hmm. Ese verbo me falta ahí. Did you study? Uh, How many groups? Espérame, espérame. Quiero descifrar la, la, la pregunta de Sandra. Yo sé que lo podemos hacer. Did you... Did you teach? Okay. Ajá, Sandra. Did you teach many... Many oh. study group English? Oh, did you teach many English groups? Did you teach many English groups? Not today, just you. Teaching, just you. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. I just taught you today. No, I didn't. I just taught you today. Did you, uh, did you study other languages? Did you study other languages? I tried. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I tried German, but wow. it's too difficult. <laughs> I love, I love German, and but it's good to all. It's too strong. Yes. Did you watch TV last night? Did you watch TV last night? Last night? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I. I was in a conference oh, yeah, with the president. He was next to me in the conference. I was oh like, <laughs> Did you interfere the conference? I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> did you, did you interest, interest in the conference? Um, did you get interest, interested? Get interest? Did you get interested in the, con the, in the conference? Yes. Yes, I was. Uh, yes, I did. Ahí sería, were you interested in the conference? Ojo, una pregunta, yes, no, con el verbo to be en pasado. Were you interested? Ajá, uh, estu uh, estuvo interesado. Uh, o oh, did the conference... Was the conference interesting? Good. Was the conference interesting? Interesting. Was the conference interesting? It was uh -huh. amazing. Um, un dato, learn, curio un dato curioso, so sí, so está en inglés, ¿no? Pero un dato curioso, habían 12 mil, habíamos 12 mil 500 personas en la conferencia y de ahí se conectó el presidente y eran 22 mil 500 personas. Así. Ah, eh, estaba hasta, hasta el fundador de Twitter en esa conferencia. Estuvo increíble. Oh. Y cada cosa importante que decía al lado de retweet, un montón de gente que me siguió. Me había invitado, teacher. I was like, wow, ya no <laughs> se podía unir nadie más. De hecho, se le cayó el internet y de allí este, se volvió a conectar y les costó. Ya no lo dejaban entrar. It was, okay. It was crazy. It was a lot of people. Ok, continue, continue. Perdón, ¿y quién lo había organizado esa conferencia, presidente? Eh, fue un chico entrepreneur. Un, um, de, de Bitcoin. Ah, ok. Se, se me ha olvidado el nombre, pero sí, ayer lo conocí, fue como wow, vea. O sea, lo conocí ahí en esa conferencia. Yo, yo solo estaba de oyente, pero conocer a esas personas, escuchar cómo se hablan entre sí, me hizo entender una cosa. Ojo, pan para su matate. ¿Y qué, ¿Qué distingue a alguien que, abre, que habla inglés fluido y se comunica con otras personas del mundo? ¿Sabes qué lo distingue? En mi, en, desde mi perspectiva he notado que nosotros los salvadoreños a veces nos la llevamos de muy respetuosos, muy 
Y está bien, confía, está ¿sabes? bien, porque nos han educado de una manera que, ¿se acuerdan cuando estaban pequeños? Ah, ¿sí? Todos, todos. Llegabas y si tú, tú te metías en la conversación que tenía tu ¿Ah? mamá, tú, mm, no, a mi sí. abuela, a mí mi abuela me crió, pero nomás llegaba, solo me miraba y me hacía. Ajá, esa mirada. Mm. Ya sabía, ya se iban las visitas y empezaban los gritos. Este, entonces nos educaron así. Ahora, una persona que habla inglés bien fluido y todo, y ojo, no es por hacer política ni nada, pero yo noté eso desde que empezó a ser el presidente, porque yo decía, ¿qué les dice a otros presidentes? O sea, ¿cómo hace su homo, con, con sus homólogos? ¿Cómo habla? ¿Qué consigue las cosas así? ¿Qué les dice? ¿Saben qué es? Es comunicación. Es comunicación. Y cambió la, la estrategia de política internacional de hablar en un nivel bien, todo así, bien piqui, ¿verdad? Y todo, no sé, demasiado en extremo light. formal. A, a algo más light, cabal. Algo más light y... y o sea, hay, hay... Como entrecheros. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Llegar a ese punto con un japonés, con un chino. Oh. O sea, si hay respeto... Pero se habla libremente. Y ayer en esa conferencia eh, era como estar hablando acá con nosotros. Mira vos, ¿y cómo está tu papá? Bien, ¿y vos qué tal? Ah, aquí por acá. Pues sí, señor presidente. Entonces va a meter en no sé qué, que no sé cuál. Y así vea. O sea. Eh, ¿Cómo sería la pregunta, teacher? ¿Usted invertiría en Bitcoin? Ah, ¿qué ocuparía? ¿Qué ¿Usted invertiría? ¿Invertiría? Futuro, voy tú. A ver, ¿quién es de cifras? Vamos, 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 piensen, ya lo vimos. Yeah, yeah. ¿Vertiría? No, ¿Cómo fue? Yeah. Would, would you? Would you? Would you invest in Bitcoin? Yes. ¿Invest? De hecho, invest? estoy estudiando, estoy estudiando la idea de, de hacerlo, ¿no? ¿Por qué no? ¿Qué tiene de malo invertir un par de dólares en algo que va para arriba? Ahorita ha subido, ¿eh? Solo hoy subió bastante. Eh, de el, ayer para ahora subió un montón. Un 14, que no, no sé. Pero el punto es de que es un riesgo al final. Siempre fue un riesgo, pero nunca habíamos tenido acceso. En mi historia, yo no recuerdo. Creo que todos no habíamos tenido acceso a, a poder invertir de esa manera. A mí sí, me lo ofrecieron hace cuatro años. Bitcoin hace cuatro años, cuando estaba en redes de mercadeo. Pero Entraron, empezaba... Empezado. Ajá. Ajá, empezado. Sí, es de solo hay que tener, sí. hay que tener un poco de cuidado en qué, en qué web, a dónde. Eso, en eso. Es, digo, fíjate que cabal, es lo mismo pensé yo. Lo digo por experiencia. Ajá. Lo mismo. Ahora. Yo también, yo perdí en otra Uf. plataforma, perdí casi 500 dólares en otra, otra plataforma. Ojo similares, son similares. Y por es, esta es la puerta que te abre el inglés. No es solamente comunicarte y conseguir un buen trabajo, te das cuenta, sino poder entender de qué se habla en el mundo, porque acá quien no habla inglés en El Salvador, y ayer lo puse en un tweet yo, si la asamblea le... hablara inglés fluido, no necesitarían estar debatiendo, sino poner esta conferencia en los speakers de la asamblea, solo estar escuchando la opinión de los que sí saben. Entonces, ojo, eh, te va a abrir muchas puertas en inglés. Sí, y no fuimos de... Como aparece en Twitter, lo voy a seguir a usted. Así con mi nombre, Rafael Rodríguez. Ah, ok. <ríe> y ese publicidad, oh my God. Ok, nos fuimos por la tangente. Let's continue. So, any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan con, con las preguntas yes or no? Questions. Um, give me a second, ok. Perdón, ya es hora de acostarse. Do you prepare everyday classes? Do, do I prepare the classes every day? Or did you prepare the prepare class? Class. Yes, every day? I did. Every day. Bueno, I, at this point, it's like I just check the topics and then I create something here. It's more like being dynamic and make you talk. Not me, you. Speak. That's the point. So, okay. Good question. One more, just one more question. Jen, Rafa? Did you play guitar last week? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. I didn't make the time. I'm sorry. I didn't make the time. I'm focused right now on exercising 
on working on all the jobs that I have. So I'm very busy. Thank God. It's really good. Okay. Let's see. What's next? Hmm. And that's basically it. Okay. We are supposed to create a conversation asking a customer about last service she got with your company. Okay. Let's talk about something. Let's continue on this conversation all together. Um, do you remember the last service you hired? For example, Edwin, how was the service in McDonald's today? It was okay. And I have just a, a Sunday and then I am in the English class for all, all, all the, the last two hours. Okay, now let's compare something. Let's compare something. How was something before COVID and how is today? Let's contrast, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, before COVID, you could pay in, in some screen. You could order and pay in the screen. Do you understand? Oh yes, on the touch the, the touch screen, right? Touch okay. screen. Yes. Right now you you can do. That. You cannot. No. You cannot do that. Excellent, and, Edwin. That's a good example. And another thing is that uh, before COVID, you. You, Good. you did root <laughs> Oh, before COVID, we we did rows. Row. We uh -huh. we we stood on the road. I okay. now you just have a number and <gasps> they serve really? to the to the to your table. They take your order. Mm -hmm. on the table really yes there are no, no rules because of social distancing yes, yes. social yes. distancing right great job edwin thank you okay okay someone else carla any experience what what is different now from before covid <sighs> my experience most close for covid was with my grandfather, he passed away for COVID. Was a big imprudence, no sé cómo, imprudencia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, imprudence because he he did live with my with my aunt and. It uh, was a difficult because in December, my grandfather is is in in in, in his house, and uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice vecino? Neighbor. Neighbor. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a neighbor uh, went to visit to my grandfather and then and without mask oh. and they never ne ne never he, he got infected yes he got infected and was uh imprudence because my grandfather in this moment has uh, 98 years old and okay. was uh, infected for COVID. And, oh, okay. and he yes. was he was okay, 98 years old? Yes. 98. And wow. 98. 
and he 98, was yeah. yeah and he was strong yes it, for this reason it, it, um therefore uh, never imagine that he have covid because when i when i carry it to hospital don't present symptoms didn't. for covid no. Symptoms. Uh, didn't, uh -huh. so he didn't that, have symptoms. any symptoms. Good. Didn't have yeah. symptoms COVID. Symptoms. For me, it was impression when doctors says me, Shocking. your your grandfather has COVID. For me, it was a difficult moment because I remember that. The, this day was um, on Monday, mm -hmm. and next Wednesday, my grandfather passed, passed away. away. I'm sorry to hear that. But well, yes. he, he was 98. I mean, I'm sure, yes. he, I'm sure he was happy. I mean, living 98 West, years old, yes. wow. And my grandma passed away two years ago, but due to natural reasons for natural reasons um look at the chat i send you some things he passed it, away it, it, due to COVID. something else i'm sorry carla continue oh no uh, next that event for me was a terrible moment because i think that i can do uh, i can have COVID because i am a uh, it was next to near to uh, oh. all day because I carried to the hospital. I took him. I uh, took him to the hospital. You took him to the yes. hospital. Yes, mm. but 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 I I I can say that Max Max is a is is a good because I don't present never seen symptoms for COVID. I, do you haven't case. perceive any symptoms? Yeah, yeah, I never, yes. How yes. long ago, how long ago was that? How long ago was that? Uh, January, last oh. year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the same happened to me. Uh, my wife got yeah. COVID, but I took care of her and we never had a test. We we never got tested. So mm -hmm. I, I, but I, I didn't have any symptoms. I just got a little fever and that's it. So no. I, oh, oh. I guess I was I, symptomatic. I did, I did the test COVID. The COVID test? For, the COVID test, but for other reason. And, and it was negative. The, Yes, negative. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, the last, the last class, the mm -hmm. last module. Module, uh huh. Uh, uh huh. I don't participate because I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't of of the country, mm -hmm. and awesome. for this reason, I I didn't participate take a, too much. Yes. Okay. Good job. Bien, eso es lo que quiero ver en todos, que todos participen de esa manera, suéltense, hablen, ok, y vamos viendo eh, qué áreas tenemos que ir corrigiendo. Very good. I send you some messages. Bien, eh, esta noche se queda Patricia, si es tan amable, 10 minutitos conmigo, porfa. Hola, Patricia. Thank you. Ok. Good night, guys. Um, let me just do the list. Hola, Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardada Juan Portillo. Present, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present, teacher. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Good night. Good night, Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. 
María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Me voy a levantar que ando toda trabada. Ofelia Diana Arce. Here, teacher. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Good night. Good night. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good night. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Thank you. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Good night. Good night. Adriana, Stan, Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Margarita Stephanie Menjibar Contreras. Present. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Take everyone. care. Bye. Okay, okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, give me just a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. ¿Cómo estamos, Ana Patricia? ¿Qué hemos estado practicando? ¿Cómo le va? Oh, teacher. Bien, teacher. Bien, gracias a Dios. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice gracias a Dios en inglés? Okay, it will be like, well, it's been good. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Muchos dicen thanks. Good. God. Thank God. Okay. Pero es thank God. No suena thank la K. No, no suena la K. No suena la K, sino que digo thank God. Así. Ahí en el chat le, le puse eso. Thank, thank God. God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Correcto, correcto. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Qué, ¿Qué hemos estado haciendo aparte de recibir las clases? Sí, le para... voy a apagar la cámara porque está... Sí, se le, se es, le corta un sí. poco la señal. Teacher, hoy sí. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy sí. Vaya. Hoy sí, sí okay. que me había salido, pero, pero ya ni modo. Este, no, teacher. Eh, yo no sé. Yo Primero, por su paciencia, muchísimas gracias. Porque yo le digo, ya no sé ni qué hacer. Le digo yo, a veces nos reímos con Gloria porque le digo yo con usted no doy una, sinceramente. Pero si yo no le he escuchado equivoco, que ya vaya. habla más. Cuando la pongo a leer, lee súper bien. Oh. Fíjese de que me pongo a estudiar todas las tardes, este, todas las tardes, eh, a repasar, este, no sé, pero ya llega la noche. De hecho, ya me, imagínese que yo ya sabía que era lo que le iba a decir en inglés y ahorita ya se me lo dije. Este, o sea, yo creo que es mi temor, es una cosa así que tengo uh -huh. que equivocarme, ¿verdad? Entonces, ayer, por ejemplo, ayer me corté porque le digo a Gloria, le digo, mira, me dice, ya te está preguntando, sí, pero mira, él no se ve bien la pantalla y me sacó todo y le digo, ya ve, no doy una con él y digo, si no me pasa una cosa, me pasa otra y entonces ahí es donde me pongo nerviosa y ya, como que se me va la, mi mente, ¿verdad? entonces siento que debería, yo me tengo que, que este, Hacer una liberar de esa introspección. De esa. Fíjese que en el 2000, sí. 2000, que fue, sería 18, 2018, estaba en una clase y tenía, siempre he tenido alumnos adultos en la noche, pero hay una clase presencial y siempre los pasaba al frente a leer, a leer, a conversar entre ellos, a hacer lo que fuese, pero que ellos hablaran al frente. Y tenía un buen, ahora es amigo mío, ¿no? Ahora este alumno. Y, y pues la cosa es de que él pasó y se quedó congelado y se quedó congelado y me decía algo así yo no puedo me decía y se enojó porque una persona de carácter fuerte pero fuerte de 55 años fuerte y me dice que no puedo me dice 
No puedo y se enojó en la clase. Y le digo, ¿y quién te dijo a vos que no podés? Le digo, y se, no, se enojó, se le salieron las lágrimas. Y ya le digo, y se que hubo un silencio en el salón. Y le digo, esa persona que te dijo que no podés, se, se pasó en tu vida. Toda la vida te dijo que no podías. Y te lo creíste. ¿Y quién gobierna tu vida? ¿Quién dirige tu vida? Sí, Dios, o sea, está acá. Pero yo quiero que vos me digas, ¿quién toma las decisiones en tu vida? ¿Alguien más las toma por vos? No, le digo. Vos mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ánimo, le digo, vos podés. Y se puso a llorar. O sea, un hombre de 55 años, con carácter fuerte, que es que acepte... Eso es lo que sucede, teacher. Eso es lo que sucede, que, que a uno le marcan la vida prácticamente con un no puede. Entonces, uh -huh. este... Eh, eh, yo como le dije la vez anterior yo, yo toda mi vida me ha tocado que la gente no puede, no puede pero yo sigo, ¿verdad? pero también es parte de que aunque usted no lo crea yo me río mucho y estamos con Gloria ahí pero yo soy muy, pero muy extremadamente tímida ya a la hora de estar pero ni se imagina es algo que a mí me ha costado salir de ese superar eso de, ese, de esa situación entonces cuando yo estoy, bueno, cuando, no es que yo esté sola, sino que aún en el trabajo yo estoy en mi pensamiento este, hablando en inglés, digo yo, ¿verdad? Y usted me ve, de verdad le digo, usted me ve que yo estoy en el Google, pero a veces estoy, ¿cómo le digo? Entonces, empiezo yo, estoy pensando y estoy poniéndolo, ah, sí, y este, usted me ve que yo estoy escribiendo, pero es porque estoy yo pensando, porque yo digo, si me llega a preguntar, necesito saber algo que ya ves, le digo, no me pregunto y, oh, <risa> ¿verdad? Pero no, no, y no le estoy diciendo que me pregunte. <risa> no, pero hágalo, levánteme la mano, Ana Patricia. Pero, sí me entiende, lo que pasa es que estoy intentando y, y yo hoy, en, hoy me levanté, ¿verdad? Bueno, yo creo que me toca a mí y entonces empecé yo solita. Ah, I am study every day eh, en uh, the afternoon y empecé yo solita, ¿verdad? Este, Perfecto, I'm studying every day in the afternoon. ¿Me entiende? Pero al, a la hora de que yo estoy en la, en la noche y usted, ay Dios, ¿y yo qué digo? ¿Me entiende? Pero yo creo que es un todo. Pero poco a poco yo siento, créeme que he aprendido mucho, porque de verdad le digo yo, de verdad empecé con cero. Como dice Elena, creo que es la señora que nos Roselena, da ¿no? la primera... Ajá, ella, no, la, la señora que nos, cuando va a empezar el curso. Ah, este, sí, la teacher, un... teacher Elena, ajá. Ajá, ah, pues ella dice, si sí lo saben, está dormido es inglés, pero ustedes sí tienen ese con ah, pues es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, poquito a poquito, voy lento, pero muy lento, pero yo creo que sí, yo voy pero a entonces, avanzar. yo creo que así le va a servir, vaya, fíjese que en cada sesión privada, hoy en este módulo, lo que he hecho es, Um, ponerles un ejercicio claro, esto es voluntario fuera de la, de la plataforma que es lo principal eh, y es tan sencillo como ocupar cualquier tiempo gramatical que hemos visto y hacerse una pregunta abierta, por ejemplo creo que con Gloria estuve ayer creo, o antier, no sé, y le decía vaya, por ejemplo, preguntarse what are you going to do next weekend ¿Qué vas a hacer el próximo fin de semana, y se hace uno la pregunta Agarro un cuaderno, me voy a lo básico, lo escribo primero en español, ok. Este fin de semana voy a ir a... Eso me va a hacer aterrizar también en el español, como debo de hablar al ocupar going to. Voy a ir a tal lugar, voy a ir a, a comer, voy a cocinar. ¿Ya? Ya lo tengo, ok. Lo traduzco. Hago el esfuerzo y voy reemplazando. A, yo, voy, yo voy a ir. I am going to go. Ok. Y ahí voy. Una vez lo traduzco, se lo envío al teacher. Ya sea una foto o lo escribo en el WhatsApp. Ya. El teacher lo corrige. Se lo envía de regreso. Y le graba el teacher un audio. Se viene Patricia y ya tiene el texto bien hecho. Lo escribe otra vez bien hecho. O lo imprime como guste. Y empiezo a escuchar el ticha. A leer. Ok. Ahora empiezo a hablarla. A repetir la voz. Y a intentar repetir todo tal cual. Ya una vez, Patricia, usted tenga la confianza y diga. Ya suenó bien. Vamos a ver. Se graba. 
y le da play a su audio y le da play a mi audio. En eso, ahí, eso se llama autocorrección. En la medida en la que usted logra identificar sus propios errores y decir, área de oportunidad, y logra decir, aquí estoy fallando, voy a repetir otras 10 veces, 20 veces esta palabra hasta que se me quede. Ok, ya la tengo, vuelvo a grabar. Una vez ya me siento poderosa y digo, hoy oh, sí lo logré. Este audio le voy a mandar al teacher. ¿Ya? Yo le voy a decir, perfecto. Okay. Eso es repetición continua, identificarse. Uno. Mire, la vida es así. Y eso es lo que no nos han enseñado. A autoconocernos. O sea, de chiquito, imagínense, si, usted, si a mí me hubieran dicho desde pequeño, mira, conocete. Uh, Dios mío. O sea, aprende qué es lo que te gusta. Fíjate en lo que le dijo Albert Einstein a su hijo. Descubrí en qué es lo que pasas el tiempo, en qué es lo que pasas más tiempo y sentís que el tiempo no pasa. Y eso es lo que uh -huh. te encanta hacer. Uh -huh. Interesante. Sí, okay. así es. So, sí, así es que ánimo. yo le digo. Sí, créame que sí, yo poco a poco. Yo como le digo, hoy ya tenía ya... Y yo solita, ¿verdad? Sin haber puesto el Google ni nada, yo solita, ay, después me senté y empecé, ah, o sea que sí, ¿verdad? Y algunas palabritas, ¿verdad? Este, no me habían salido como era, ¿verdad? Pero, Mire, ¿y si se pinta el pelo de rubia así como Gloria? <risa> no, a mí no me gusta. <risa> no, I like it. <risa> I don't like it, me dice. No, no, no mire, like le voy a decir lo que le decía Gloria ayer. Ahí la tiene a la par, háblele en inglés todo el día, hombre. <risa> Que la corrija a ellos, que la corrija. Peleense, pero en inglés. En inglés. No, son bromas, no nos peleamos. Yo sé, yo sé. Si no estarían juntas, si se vivieran peleando, las mujeres son más difíciles para pelear entre ellas. Pero de igual manera se aman mucho también. Y lo he visto un montón de veces. So, no se preocupe, estoy para ayudarle. Escríbame si me necesita en algún momento. Ok, hagamos eso, si gusta, hágase una pregunta en cualquier tiempo que hemos visto, la contesta, me la envía. Y trabajemos juntos, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Muchas gracias hoy. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. bye.